Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at a new VTX from XUAV. Now this one is stating a lot of interesting things actually that I didn't know while I was using it. Now the, this VTX currently, let me just explain to you, put it in perspective what I'm actually using it for. When I get a new RC plane or when I get a new quadcopter that needs a VTX, usually I stick this on there first before making the final adjustments to what I'm going to stick on there. So this is kind of my go-to VTX because I could quickly solder on. I do have a the Tramp Protocol MMCX up to 600 milliwatts and it does have a heatsink in case since it's a new model I will have it sitting down for quite a while and I need it to be to the VTX to stay as cool as possible so that is the reason why I'm actually reaching out for this quite often and I'm not keeping it static in a model because I want to keep it uh, universal from model to model and not only that it's a really nice uh, form factor with also a half a stack mounting solution so it's actually a really well thought out VTX in my opinion now, reading some of the specs here, I was actually quite surprised. I didn't know that it has overheat protection, for example, an LC filter to kind of avoid noise in your video feed. And um, that was kind of true, actually. I did notice it when I was had this VTX on, switching it to out to a, you know, just a basic Eoshin one, that I was getting a little bit more noise, but I thought, oh, maybe it's the setup. But that actually makes sense. So it does have some sort of video filtration set up built into this which is something really nice to have not only that you do have your heat sink and everything is well protected you're not going to be breaking anything anytime soon off of this and uh, the overall design is really nice very minimal using everything you want for example soldering pads and it has a 5 volt regulator on board the tramp protocol mmcx any button to switch channels if you didn't have uh, some sort of smart port setup or the tramp protocol setup to talk to this and what you have here is you have three leds which blink accordingly you have one for power one for channel and one for band each of them blink together once that means everything is on one so if it blinks one for power that means 25 milliwatts blinks twice 200 milliwatts blinks three times that's uh 600 milliwatts same thing goes for channel and same thing goes for the band. And uh, I find that to be really nice, actually, and very useful and very easy to set up. In my opinion, if you were looking for a VTX, this is actually a quite decent VTX. I've hit 2.8 kilometers with this VTX before having to turn back. And not because of it, I could have even went a little bit further. And I was broadcasting at 600 milliwatts at the time. And I could have pushed it a little bit further. But I think that time I forgot to set my failsafe correctly. And that's why I turned back. So in, in terms of output power, it outputs a... a very well I can't really give you the exact number because I don't have the correct equipment to test this but I can tell you that overall it works really nice the form factor it's also very well thought out and it's a really attractive little VTX to actually when you when you sit down and actually think about everything that's going on with this here that it just has everything you need mounting holes heat sink MMCX button 5 volt uh, Tramp protocol uh, you know it, it's, it's um it's it's a really nice VTX everything is protected shielded not a lot of VTX is shield nowadays sometimes and um, this is really nice to see that it actually does and it, it seems like a really well uh, thought out product and a really well made product in my opinion and this is the reason why I have this always next to me especially when a new model arrives kind of like the Zod orbit when it first arrived I went ahead and stuck this in there because it was just so quick to set up for me and uh, very universal. I could switch out the antennas if I needed to and um, I really liked it. It's well protected. It has a heat sink. It stays cool while I prepare for the first time so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm really starting to fall in love with this VTX and not only that, I'm building quite a lot of trust in it. And um, in my opinion, if you're thinking of getting this VTX, get it. Why not? Um, but and again, I can't answer how much power it's actually outputting because I still don't have the correct equipment to test that. But other than that, it's a VTX that's actually working. I don't know if it bleeds over to other channels. They're currently stating that it will not and it, you know, it won't interfere with any other channels, which is something really nice to see. However, I can't, again, answer that for you. But overall, as a VTX that is actually working and working really great, um, I can answer to that. But those other specifications that you're looking for, I don't have the answer for that. And overall, it's a really nice, well-priced uh, little beast. However, I do wish they came with a MMCX to an SMA or RPSMA. What they do is they give you an MMCX to a dipolar antenna, but that's totally fine because you can just get anything you want into MMCX ports now, which is uh, something really, really nice, as you can tell. So I really like this, actually. And, well, that's concluded for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.